Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to Tim Han Fishing. What you're about to watch is the very first of the Tim Han Fishing subscriber series videos, and I'm so excited. This weekend we were out with Leon in St. Louis, Missouri, and we were fishing at Jefferson Lake. Uh, we didn't catch any fish, but that's okay. We had a lot of laughs, we made new friends, and we had a really good time. Plus, the other anglers weren't catching anything either, so that always makes me feel a little bit better. But stay tuned till the end, because at the end of the video, we did something a little bit special for Leon. And then after that, I'm going to put up some footage from a couple of weekends ago where I was absolutely slaying them on an ad rig. Matter of fact, we hooked into what could have been the biggest bass of my life, but she bent the hook out. It goes like that sometimes. So without further ado, let's go down and smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and enjoy the video. Let's go. Hey guys, welcome to the Tim Hahn Fishing Family episode. This is the very first of the Tim Hahn subscriber series. I'm here with my good friend Leon, hey. and I am in St. Louis at Jefferson, uh, Lake. Jefferson Lake. Jefferson Lake, and we're gonna try to get on a bite. We're hoping to catch a big bass today. We've seen a couple of big bass come out of this spot, but we're fishing for whatever bites. Let's get into it. All right, so I am gonna start off with a crankbait and a Ned rig. Do you want a Ned rig? Ish. How do we say this? Swivel. How do you say it in Chinese? Bazuko. Uh, Bazuko? Okay. This is like, uh, the shape is like eight. Okay, so okay. Eight in Chinese is ba. There we go. It's a little bent, but it won't matter. So that tail is just gonna okay. wiggle around and you're just gonna cast that out and just reel it in slowly, pop it a couple of times every now and then. Okay. So I just wait the base down to the bottom and pull it a little bit. Yep, just let it sit at the bottom, twitch it a little bit. You might get caught up, but just rip it loose, and if you get snagged, we'll just tie on another one. Should I keep shaking all the time? Um, not a lot, but when you move it, like don't reel it to you, twitch it to you, and then reel in the slack, twitch it to you, and then reel in the slack. I don't think it's too deep for this lake. Say what? I don't think it's too deep for this lake. Yeah, but there, if you, you told me there's a lot of dead lily pads, right? Yeah. Yeah, I keep feeling those. Let's move like over there somewhere. We'll do a lap around the lake and see if we can't catch a fish. Yeah, I misunderstood you. I thought you were going back to China next week. I was like, oh, dang. <laughs> well, since you're not, we're definitely gonna have to do this again in the spring. Yeah. You see that pier over there? Yeah. I think we should go over there and cast towards that pier. Yeah. Oh, hey, pup. <laughs> oh man, that was a bite. Yeah. Sweet. The bite when they lay on the bottom? Yeah, yeah. So what happens is you're just sitting there and you're twitching it along, right? And a, a fish is going to see that. They're going to swim up to it and they're going to look at it and inspect it for a little bit. And then it's hard to tell the difference between a snag and a bite, but whenever you feel that poop, like a pull back on your line, that's when you know they got it. Cast it. Oh, that's a trout. Yeah, there's lots of trout here actually. Okay. Well then I'm gonna switch my approach. So when did you get interested in fishing? Back in 2016. I was in Florida at the time, nothing else. <laughs> <laughs> and there's, there's a lake, just like this, in my, in my apartment. Okay, so he doesn't know it, but whenever we get back to the car, we're going to give him one of our setups. Have you ever caught a trout out of here? Have you ever caught a trout out of here? Oh, uh, it's my first time trying this. I tried to speak here like twice. Okay. Once I got the two cast 
catfish with the live mask and another time I try to use the Texas rig and I see another guy use uh, this rig. Gotcha. I got about 10 minutes and then I got to start heading back to Illinois. And that's a wrap. Done? I'm done. I got to get back home. I guess this makes us friends, dude. Yeah. Uh. So, how's the long I should get? Say what? What's the uh, what's, uh, weight for the... For, okay, so... I would go get a casting rod, something with a small guides for this, for that reel. And then I would go buy one of those reels uh -huh. for that. I'll send you links. Where are you gonna go, Walmart? Yeah. Okay, I'll send you links when we get back to the car. This isn't gonna fit back there. Okay. Merry Christmas. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you didn't hear me. But when I, when I didn't want to insult you, but that setup, not ideal. And so when I walked away from you, I told the camera, I'm like, he doesn't know this yet, but we're gonna give him a setup when we get back to the car. Oh my God. So this is, a medium action with 10 pound line this is a great all-arounder for like yeah. fishing in these kinds of lakes man you're on your own for your tackle but you got this man oh thanks a lot well <laughs> leon it has been a pleasure i gotta get back to illinois guys if you like this video go down in the comments below let me know if you want to see more of leon like if you like this video and if you're new to the channel consider subscribing i think you'll love all the content that you see I'll see you guys later. Remember, stay safe, stay happy, stay healthy. God bless you, and we'll see you in the see next you later, one. guys. So we've thrown the jig, we've thrown a jerk bait, we've thrown the crank bait, we've thrown the swim bait, we've thrown the chatter bait, we've thrown a wacky rig. We have just about exhausted all of our options here. The very last thing that we have left to throw before we try to go find a new spot is the Ned rig. <laughs> I think we should do okay with this. Honestly, this if we catch a fish, it's gonna be on this. This is the California Craw, which is what I bought instead of the Watermelon Red Flake because I couldn't find Watermelon, watermelon Red Flake. <clears throat> Let's see how we do, shall we? Yes, there we go. Oh no, we got loose. Oh, that thing was huge. That was a big fish. Oh no, he bent my hook out. Oh gosh. That was me being stupid. I didn't think and I guess hork him in. Oh my God, that was a big fish. That would that was my PB. I don't know if you guys could see him on the GoPro, but that was just the biggest bass I've ever seen in my life. Oh gosh. Oh well. Okay, he's on. He's on. I don't think that's as big. That's not as big, but it's a fish. Come on, bud, come on. There we go. <laughs> Hold on, don't, 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 stop, 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 stop. You're gonna waste your energy. Quick, 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 quick. Okay. See, that's, don't get me wrong. This is a nice fish, but this was not the fish. The other fish was just like dead weight. But hey, we we didn't get skunk, guys. We've been here for about two hours. It's because we've gone through two GoPro batteries. <laughs> he just picked up that dead rig. Fantastic. So they weren't on the moving baits. Okay. That 
There we go. <laughs> California Crawd Net Rig. Got it done, finally. And see, this just goes to prove my point. You know, I've had a couple people in my comments say, like, you, you know, I can't catch fish this time of year, blah, blah, blah. Well, you know, if your water is frozen over, then no. No, you can't. But I've been out here for two hours to catch one fish, and that's pretty much just what winter bass fishing is about. It's a struggle, but that fish made it worth it. <sighs> the fish before him would have made it much better. <laughs> but, oh well. I make mistakes just like everybody else. Oh. Oh, 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 that's a good fish. Not huge, but strong. Oh, another good bass. Stay hooked, stay hooked, stay hooked. Stay hooked, stay hooked, stay hooked. <laughs> there we go. Wow, almost the exact same as the first one. And he was just barely pinned. <laughs> wow, fantastic. What a beautiful little fish. He's a solid, I don't know, 14. Okay, buddy. There we go. That one's got some weight to it. Another one, about the same size. Ooh. Chill, chill, chill. This one actually might be a little bit bigger than the other one. They all look about the same. <clears throat> Hi, guy. Thank you. I appreciate you hanging out with us. This one's actually, he's a little bit shorter than the other two. But you're just as fun to catch. Thank you, buddy. Oh, look at him, he's just chilling right here. There he goes. Awesome. Whew. All right. So, I had to take a break. I had to pray for a young man in my church who's being flown to St. Louis, I believe, the Children's Hospital in St. Louis. Uh, he was having abdominal pain this morning, and I guess it's resulting in surgery. Um, I'd like for you all to also lift up this young man. Uh, goes by Captain Coop, and not gonna lie, this is definitely stressing me out a little bit. I'm gonna try to keep on fishing for you guys, but I may have to call the video right here, um, depending on what they let you do right now during the Rona. I might be going to St. Louis to visit a young man and pray for him. <laughs> I caught a fish. Nice. 
I was actually paying attention to the wind knot in my line and end up hooking a fish. <laughs> come on, bud, come on. All these bass look just about the same. <laughs> hold on, bud, hold on. I think he might be the smallest one of the day. Not by much, though. They're almost all cookie cutter size. Yeah, he is the smallest one of the day. Thank you for playing, little man. I appreciate you. That one's fighting a little bit too hard. I think he's just small with a lot of energy. <laughs> yep, one about the same size. And he wants off so bad. <laughs> right through the top of the lip. Come here, bud. Smallest one so far. Easily. Calm down, calm down. Don't, please don't bend my hook. Thank you. There we go. Another little beautiful bass. He's the smallest. No doubt. Alrighty. And off he goes. Alright, so that was a lot of fun. We caught five, maybe six, I'll have to count them bass on the Ned Rig, but that was the only bait that produced fish today. But then again, that's why we picked a variety of baits, because in the winter when the bite gets tough, you have to find exactly what those fish are looking for. I was going to go try to find a spot where I could get on a moving bait, but it's getting pretty dark. So if you liked this video, I'd love for you to go down and leave a comment below and let me know that you liked it. Smash that like button, and if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. I'd love to have you as part of the Tim Han fishing family. I don't know what else to say. It was a good day. Spent three or four hours out in the peace. Uh, aside from people shooting geese and ducks all around me, it was super peaceful. Couldn't ask for much more for the day after Christmas. Got so much to be thankful for, including you guys. But that's all I got to say today, guys. We're going to do tons more winter bass fishing here coming up shortly, so stay tuned. But in the meantime, stay safe, stay happy, stay healthy. God bless you. Keep on fishing and diving. I'll see you in the next one.